you're interested in the van life lifestyle but you're not sure if it is really for you, if it's cozy and comfortable enough to live in a motorhome, well today we show you our motorhome, this is it, and you will see it has three rooms, a bathroom and a kitchen and it's very cozy. Hi, my name is Connie and I'm a full-time traveler. I'm traveling in this motor home three years for two years and in this channel I share my experience about it. If you're interested in how to make a motor home more cozy and how it is to live in a motor home, please consider subscribing. And now let's get into the tour. Our new motor home is a personal Liseo TD 744 in a 2018 series. It is one of the largest motor homes in the below 3.5 tons category. It is 7.5 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, which means we basically own a 70 square meter or 185 square foot apartment. The main door is on the side. It is a little wider than normal and has a window and a trash can. The trash can can hold up to 20 liters. That is too small to separate the trash to collect both recycling and residual waste in this bin, so we need a separate one for that. To enter our home easily, we have a step. If we don't need it, it folds below the motorhome using a shifter. A very handy feature is a fly screen. We have it both in our door and all the windows. So, no itchy bites from mosquitoes for us. This is our dining room slash work area. Here you see our turnable front seats, which are upholstered with the same material as the rest of the motorhome. Then we'll have the table that we'll actually exchange for a self-built one, because the standard table is in the way for the child seat. The child seat shall be installed on the bench on the right side. The bench can be actually used as two fully functioning car seats, as they have seat belts. The child seat will be attached to the Isofix fastening system. Um, you see the little hook in the picture, and that way we can securely travel with our little one. We chose fabric as a material for our cushions to make it more gemütlich. The fabric is a combination of stone with Etna as a highlight. It is really robust and you don't see stain easily, so it's really good for living with a toddler. Next to the door is another seat, which we'll be using as a changing table for our little one. Here you see our skylight. It brings an amazing light into our motorhome. Below is some storage space where we put stuff that we need during driving or for dinner, like sunglasses or table napkins and our fruit basket. Randomly, because we don't know where to put it, we collect also our recycling waste here. And we have more storage in the dining room that is mainly attributed to our little one, like her diapers. And next to the door, we store everything we need to go out. Next to our dining room is our kitchen. Here we also have a lot of storage space. We have one cupboard above the stove, where we store our tableware. And below the stove, we have a cutlery tray and a drawer for dry food. At the bottom is a hatch that covers some technical appliances and leaves us some room to store milk and orange juice. And below the sink are two big drawers where we store our pots and a pan and some food containers. What's really cool, we have a cute cabinet with hooks outside where we can hang our dish towels and store our salt and pepper mill as well as some oils. Here you see the sink and we got a tap with both hot and cold water and here we also will install a separate filter so that we can actually drink the tap water. In general it feels to me that the sink is quite big. The only thing that we miss is a place to store our wet dishes. Here is our stove. It is usually covered when we don't need it. The stove has three gas rings. 
and we actually never used more than two at once. I don't know why they even integrate three, because three pots don't even fit here at the same time. This is our fridge. It's probably the biggest fridge I've ever seen in a motorhome. It runs on gas, 12 volt or 220 volt, whatever is available. And that's really great. It holds 145 liter and it also has a freezer which we don't need and is not that great. But the rest is almost like home. Opposite to our kitchen is a bathroom. We really like it because it's quite spacious for a motorhome and that way we are independent of campsites. Now I'm curious about you. How important is a bathroom for you in a motorhome? Do you use it at all or do you prefer the campsite installations? Please write us in the comments below. The first thing you see when you enter our bathroom is our original toilet. From our experience before we knew that we don't like a chemical toilet, so we got rid of this and replaced it with a composting toilet. Above the toilet is a large bathroom cabinet. Here we store everything we need for our morning and evening routines, as well as our travel pharmacy. Another cabinet is below the sink. This holds more items we don't use daily, plus the toilet paper. This is really practical. The sink is quite small, but it's sufficient for us and we like the stylish tap. Here you see a wall socket. We don't have many of those in the motorhome. In total we have only four of them and one is in bathroom. Above the sink is a large mirror. At the ceiling is a window with a vent. It was a special installation and it's a really good decision to keep the bathroom dry. On the right of the bathroom is a shower cabin. It's almost as big as our shower at home. And it's an area of 70 times 55 centimeters. And it has also again a mixer tap and a really stylish shower hat. And in the ceiling there is another vent, which is indirect in this time. Now we get to the heart of our motorhome, our living room. This living room is actually the reason why we chose this model. We have a complete living room, including a free space to play. Here you see our cupboard. And this sideboard is really kids focused. We store her, her clothes here and her toys. Our couch is really large. We can both lay there or actually the three of us can lay here and play and have fun. And this is our small coffee table. If you don't need it, it sits under the couch. Above the couch, we have more storage space. This is where Christian and I store our clothes. So two boards for Christian, two for myself, and that's all that we need. Below the boards, you see three windows, and that gives us a lot of light inside the motorhome. And we really love the panorama view of those big windows. Well, that's the end of the motorhome but something important is missing. So obviously what's missing is a bedroom. Our bedroom consists of a bed and a wardrobe. This is the wardrobe and the wardrobe has a hanging rack so that we can hang our jackets in here. We don't have anything else to hang. Now you might wonder, where is actually the bed? In order to see the bed, you have to look up. It sits directly under the ceiling and it comes down during the night. Fortunately, to get it down, we don't have to use our muscles. We have a bed control panel and we just can press the button and then the bed comes down. And in order to get into the bed, we have a little step that we can draw out below the wardrobe and we can climb in. So this is our bed now. It is quite big. It is 150 times 200 centimeters big. And we like the foam mattress. It is very soft. Below the mattress is a plastic meshwork and 
to be honest, that's not the most comfortable one. And we actually installed a new spring base later to make it more comfortable for us. Well, this is it. This is how our motorhome looked like when we just got it. Now we are living in our motorhome for more than a year and we're still pretty happy with all the choices that we made. If you enjoyed our little tour, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this about the motorhome, about how to tweak a motorhome to make it more comfortable or about living in a motorhome full-time in general. And additionally, we are happy to receive all your ideas and comments in the comment section below. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.